Hello, <clears throat> welcome to QuickWeam LLC tutorial videos. Today we're going to discuss how to import a bank statement from the raw data that you can download from your bank. And <clears throat> after, you, after you've imported the bank statement, what do you do with it? How to reconcile it against the existing uh, journal entries that you may have in your system, um, how to assign accounts, and uh, how to keep your um, statements and your uh, numbers up to date. So here I'm at the accounting dashboard and um, I have a, uh, a little more menu that I can drop down here and I go to bank statements here and I see that uh, I have none. So not for this, at least for this journal. Now if I click on unclick this, I still have none. So I click import. <clears throat> now I need to get a file to import. So in the um, in your, from your bank account, you may get some raw data that looks something like this. This is totally unimportable because you can't have just fields, you know, hanging out just a, in, in the left-hand column like that. Um, you have to have good column headings. Uh, your column have to, headings have to be exact. So um, I'm going to show you what your spreadsheet needs to look like. So you're, what you're going to want to do is create a sheet that has these headings. And if you message me in the comments, I will glad to share my little template with you and uh, <clears throat> you'll have to leave me a, a email address or something and um, so what you want to do is you have what have these headings um, you want to make sure that your dates are formatted exactly like this so if I'm using LibreOffice so I would just uh, select my, my column here select my data uh, right click go format cells and then go over to date make sure I choose the correct one and it's got to be a, a format like that. That's uh, that's typical for Odoo, uh, not typical. It's it's standard. <laughs> it's always the case. Uh, all right. And then so the same thing over here. I've already done this, of course. I just want to show you again. So repetition is the first law of learning. All right. So now um, your ending balance is whatever your balance is at the end of the statement. Your starting balance over here, of course, is this is the beginning uh, statement balance. Your journal database ID, you're going to have to get that. Um, one way you can do that is you can export journals from your system. And then um, what you'll see is you'll see some like export uh, account uh, journal and then an underscore and then something like 134. And that 134 is your database ID. So that's what you need. So um, I'll do another tutorial on how to export data get uh, IDs and things to, to do import to re-import data with the correct IDs um, your statement has to have a name so give it one it has to have a date obviously a starting balance and any balance a journal uh, the journal type is always going to be bank and then of course your lines and these these are the statement lines so these these have amounts uh, positive for deposits and negative for uh, uh, expenses and of course a date so let's go over here and import our statement. Okay, so first you notice that these are blank. Make sure that you check this. Then these will come in, right? Make sure that all these are filled out, in fact, <clears throat> and that they make sense. So let me click, click import. All right, so we get our statement here and um, the next step is to reconcile. So first of all, you know, check it, look at it. <laughs> Does it look correct? Things are coming out correctly. Computed balance 9048, right? I'm telling it's, it the balance is 9048.85 cents. So I go to reconcile and I have an error. So we'll stop the video right there. So we'll do reconciliation on the next video then. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy your day.